from their extended summer break for many MPs today and they're set to debate legislation which could see news agents being banned from displaying cigarettes. However, the National Federation of Retail News Agents says that there's absolutely no evidence from other countries where they have this law to say that it actually helps to prevent underage smoking. So, should MPs pass the bill and what else do you think would discourage young people from taking up the dreaded fines? I have to say, excuse me, it's priorities and all the rest of it. And there are other things they should be talking about, frankly, before they discuss this. And if they really, really, really want to do something about it, you know, make them illegal. You know, I, I don't understand. Th there's revenue in it. That's the first thing. That's so, the problem. Yeah, at the end of the day... No, they don't. And it's all so... And it's sort back to the nanny like state thing. You know, if people will stop smoking when they want to stop smoking. Smoking. I'm, I, I just, in my own experience, I, my parents didn't smoke. Um, nobody smoked in my house, and I was down a garden with the tea leaves. <laughs> Making your own. Yes. All on my side. I can't even blame the bike sheds. I can't blame anything. I don't know why. I just wanted to smoke. Were you a good smoker, Linda? I loved smoking. Did you work hard at it? I loved every moment of it. But I, I came to a point, seriously, where I was told if I didn't stop smoking, I would lose my voice. My voice is my life. And, and, and I, I can't bear it when people are told they will lose their lives and don't stop smoking. That's the thing I can't understand. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I, I agree entirely with what you're saying. I mean, if, if the government really felt this strongly, then they would make cigarettes illegal. Um, but obviously there is money to be made. Um, but do you, do you think that the, the fact that, I mean, what is it, 106,000 people every year in the UK lose, lose their lives to smoking-related illnesses, I know you're saying that there's other things they should be addressing, but surely that's a pretty serious statistic. But what difference yeah, but is it going to make, though, is it? I mean, really, just putting cigarettes under the counter, everybody knows they're still there. You yeah. know, they've been on top of the counter for so many years. And, you know, you've got, they put pictures on the packets, which are really gross. That doesn't put people off. The fact that, you know, for me, I think it's the dumbest thing in the world to do. To every time you go into a shop and spend £6 or whatever it is on a packet of cigarettes, you're basically paying a voluntary £4.50 extra tax to the government for them to throw down the drain or buy their blooming expenses, spend on expenses. You know, that's basically what, what would annoy me about it. And that would be enough to make me stop now. But I don't smoke. But just putting them under the counter is actually making it naughtier. Yeah, yeah, to young I, people, I, well, for especially. Food. There's that, but I mean, the, the other way that they try and scare people into giving up smoking by using children, actually using children in the app. In, to, to get the message oh, across. I, I mean, it just adds, that's the most annoying thing. Because, I mean, I know it's probably going out after the watershed, but if another child sees that, it's, it really would worry a child because they don't really understand. But they're not there to worry the children, it's to try to, to put you on a big enough just, I, to stop Yeah, I don't think they should use children to do it. I mean, I think if they're going to ban anything, they should ban. It's when I see people driving in their cars with all the windows closed and a load of kids in the back. That is just bizarre to me, how anyone could be that stupid. What, smoking? You mean? Smoking in the car with all the windows yeah, I think there's a lot to be said for making it difficult to smoke. I think that's worked, don't well, you? I mean, you're, yeah, with the band. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it makes it awkward, and I'm sure... If, well, I said, if, I, if my, my house is smoke-free, I don't smoke anymore, my husband doesn't smoke, but I, they'll go outside and smoke. I, everybody goes through that period of trying that's it. it and but people still do it, though, Linda. There is a smoking ban. People can't smoke inside anywhere, and people still stand outside in the pouring rain in the freezing cold <laughs> like peasants literally like lepers outside no, smoking like addicts, with Carol. Get the, don't give me the addict stuff if you don't want to do something don't do it you just don't if like being left unpleasant. on your own do you because everybody keeps going out do you know what? I, I hate it I, I would say let's 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 get let's bring the smoking ban let's get rid of it and let's allow people to smoke again because I am sick to death of sitting in restaurants on my own <laughs> Let's change the laws to suit your social status. Yes, exactly, yeah. please.